Hey everybody, um, welcome to Let's Play some Rogue Mech, a, uh, a roguelike based around the Battletech board game with me, Polar Dash. Um, this game is uh, free to play uh, here at uh, minimech.sourceforge.net and there should be a, uh, a link to this site in the description down below, unless I forgot. Uh, in which case, uh, doing a search for Rogue Mech on the Google machine should uh, take you to this page. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I think this game runs on most internet browsers. Uh, some might have problems, so uh, if you want to get this game running on your rig, I advise you use the more popular uh, internet browsers like Chrome and Firefox and things. Okay. Um, and... Uh, this game is brought to you by a uh, Mr. Eric H, aka uh, Capper Deluxe, who's done an excellent job making this game um, a whole lot of fun. Uh, so much fun that uh, it kept me up till like 4 a.m. last night. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I randomly stumbled upon this game while doing like a, a, a BattleTech-related search on the internet, and. Um, yeah, kept me up uh, up until the the wee early hours into the morning, uh, and then I like I thought of or I tried to uh, record a session last night slash last morning <laughs> uh, at like 4 a.m. but then uh, realized that I was in no condition to do so. I I wasn't coherent enough uh, to talk and play at the same time. Um, but it's 4 p.m. now, and I feel slightly better, so uh, I'm gonna try a take two. Uh, okay, I think without further ado, let's click on the banner here, and we're gonna press a key to begin. Rogue mech. All right, and I'm gonna uh, and I'll describe and. Uh, explain the various things that will be appearing on the screen as they come. Uh, so we can start a new game, we can look at the controls, we do the controls, alright? And we can change the theme, the color palette, which we're gonna do. Um, there's a whole bunch of presets here. You can't um, make a custom color scheme, unfortunately. So uh, you're gonna have to select from one of these that are pre-made. Um, there are some color schemes that I don't recommend you use like the Brick Boy, the Light Mono, and the Comstar for uh, visually obvious reasons. They uh, burn holes in your retina. We're gonna go with the Draconis Combine because they're cool and I like them. It'll make our mechs red and they'll make the opposing mechs purple. So in this game, um, the Draconis Combine is uh, forever stuck battling the forces of House Merrick, which I have no problem with. Let's start a new game. So we're gonna call ourselves Polar Dash. No. We're gonna keep our mech random because it's more funner that way. Um, and then we could just uh, go and uh, launch ourselves into a quick battle. It'll uh, it'll put us into a free for all against a bunch of mechs in a uh, I think a preset arena. Maybe I don't think the the quick match or the quick start arena is randomized. Or we can make a custom battle, which allows us to uh, like pick a random map, uh, set teams and stuff. We're just gonna launch into the arena just to get this game started. So I can uh, show you guys the in and ins and outs of this wonderful game. Okay. So here we are. We are on the uh, the north here. We are riding a Centurion. A CN9 YLW. Um, and we are represented uh, as a red guy. And the opposing mechs are the purple letters here. We got a W, J, you can scroll through the enemies by hitting R. R is nearest target. T and Y is next and previous enemy. So our closest target is a Jenner. Um, our st stats are down here. Uh, the, the enemies that we have locked onto, their stats are up here. Um, uh, this stuff is obvious. This is uh, armor. Um, in Battletech, you have to uh, get through the external armor and then into the internal structures, into the in bleh, internal structure to uh, 
deal damage to the inside parts and eventually make the mech explode. So uh, the, the left bar is external armor, the right bar here is uh, internal structure. Uh, and these are torsos, left torso, center torso, right torso. Um, the, the bar on the right here is rear armor. Um, and these are limbs here. Uh, and the weapons that the enemy mech is equipped with here. And uh, this is a... What do you call it? Uh, what's it? The, the two hit uh, modifiers, yeah. And uh, our stats here look pretty similar. Except that we have like percentages on, on our weapons. We you can fire your weapons with the the the, the number keys. Uh, this is the percent chance to hit the enemy we have locked onto, and uh, stuff and such. I will explain more as they become uh, they become uh, as they pop up. Okay, <laughs> I can't use big words. Me are stupid. Um, and and you move with the, uh, the the arrow keys. You can move. You can turn left and right and move forward and backward with the respective keys. Um, and also, what uh, this game, uh, each turn is not a full battle tech turn. It is apparently a, a fourth of a battle tech turn. So, um, for example, a centurion might have like. I can't remember how, how fast. I think I think it has like six movement speed. It, it has a running speed of six, but in this game you can only move, you can only make two moves a turn, represented here APs. So we got two APs to spend. Uh, it, turning and uh, moving forward requires one AP. Moving backwards requires two, and also moving into uh, different terrain requires two points of AP. Uh, the terrain here represented by colors uh, and uh, symbols. The green is forests. Uh, the asterisk representing light terrain or light woods, and the percent is heavy woods. The blue is water. Light blue is uh, like knee deep water. Dark blue is I guess waist deep. And the numbers represent elevation. So this is level one depth, level two depth. Uh, there's I think there's level three depth that's not in this map. Um, and just numbers here is uh, mountains with uh, level one, level two, and level three. So we got a uh, a forest on top of this mountain here. Uh, the brown dot dots is uh, rough terrain, um, which requires two points to move into. Forests uh, give you a defense bonus. Uh, water gives you a, uh, a cooldown bonus. Um, your, your your mech heats up as you take hits and shoot weapons, and this is like the the heatometer, I guess. Um, once you reach a, 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 a certain threshold you'll start taking penalties to all sorts of stuff. Okay, my mouth is drying up because the fan is blowing air into my mouth. Okay. Swig of water, problem solved. So let's get ourselves moving. Uh, we don't have jump jets, up, unfortunately, so I can't showcase that, but we're gonna use our two APs to move into the rough terrain. And then the enemies are gonna take their turns. Alright, so what else do we have here? We got the Jenner in front of us. What is that W? That's probably a Warhammer. It is. Um, Warhammer is equipped with PPCs and uh, lots of explodable ammunition. We got a Stinger. Alright. It's a tiny mech equipped with volatiles. Blackjack. Ditto. Uh, but weighing at 45 tons. A Centurion. Uh, it's the Axe and uh, AC-20 version, or Hatchet. An Off Scout, equipped with a single medium laser. Another Off Scout, and back to the Jenner. Okay, so I think we have a decent chance of winning. Um, let's get ourselves closer to the action here. Take two steps forward. Okay, and you guys are doing so. And you can uh, look at the entire map by like, turning on free look mode to let you scroll up and down the map here. So most of the battle is, is going on in the southern end down there. Little light mechs poking at each, poking at each, at each other with lasers. Cool. We gotta worry about the Warhammer and that Centurion. Where was that Centurion? Oh, he lost sight of the Centurion. Where, was, where did the Centurion go? Oh, the Centurion is a Y. Okay. 
would have never guessed. Let's walk onto the Jenner. Do I have shots? No. Yeah, forests, uh, they block line, line of sight, depending on the if they're light or, or heavy, and other stuff. Like, a certain number of uh, woods in front of you, or in between you and the enemy mech will block line of sight. I don't exactly remember how many, but whatever. Okay, we're getting closer to the, uh, the Jenner. Uh, you can see that we have a percentage here on our AC-20 and medium laser. It's gonna take a, we got a 28% chance to hit with both of these weapons. Um, the number here in the brackets is ammo count. Uh, auto cannons have limited ammunition. Um, we're not gonna fire yet. I guess we'll fire the medium laser. Phew. Okay. Okay, now that we fired the medium laser, you see that there's dots next to it. This is cooldown time. Because, uh, like I said, this game uh, is using one-fourth of a battle tech turn. After you fire a weapon, it takes a couple of uh, these one-fourth turns for that weapon to be able to uh, shoot again. And the, the number of rounds left for it to cool down is represented by these dots. So we got one more turn left until we can fire the medium laser. Uh, the Jenner decided to charge us here. Um, bad idea. We have, a, we have a hatchet in our left arm, which we're going to swing at the Jenner. Hatchet, dealing 10 damage to its left torso, ripping out its jump jets. Cool. It's running. Okay. Now we want to take a... Uh... What else can we do? Oh, you know what? You can also uh, literally charge the enemy by going into their space, as long as you have the movements available. So we have 2 AP. We're just going to charge the Jenner. Here we go. Boom. Charge. Then we took some charge damage, and we fell. Really? How heavy is a Centurion or, or, or a Hatchet Man, whatever the hell we're riding? You can hit the I button to get a more detailed description of what your mech is. We are a... It doesn't tell us how many tons we are. That's kind of funny. I guess the game expects me to be uh, extremely knowledgeable in the lore of Battletech, uh, considering that I am playing a roguelike version of it. Well, whatever. I thought I'd be—I thought I'd be able to stomp down a Jenner with all my weight, you know, considering that the Jenner is only 35 tons. But apparently not. We're gonna get up, and then uh, we're gonna turn and face a Jenner. And the Jenner is peeping us with lasers, laughing at us. Um. Okay. We're gonna go uh, surprise AC-20 and medium laser. There goes your right leg. It's missing! Um, when you're uh, when you're right next to the enemy like this, you can also melee the opponent. Uh, we have the option to hit P to punch or kick to uh, kick to kick. Um, and we're gonna do that. We're gonna kick the Jenner. And now it is down on the ground. At our mercy. Um, and melee has a cooldown too. It's gonna take three more turns for us to be able to uh, do Kung Fu again. Um, we're gonna shoot this medium laser, which has a 100% chance to hit. Phew. We criticaled its medium laser and jump jet. Neat. Okay, so we are tearing chunks out of the Jenner. I'm not going to waste my AC-20. I'm just going to take the opportunity here to turn and face it. And uh, do I dare charge it again? No. You know, it might be wise to just... Yeah, alright. We're going to take our right hand, or right arm, put it into the generous mouth, and then fire AC-20. And destroy it. Yes. Okay, Jenner's gone. Now the Warhammer is coming in to engage us. From the south there. We're gonna target it. It is unscathed. Who earns? Um, let's roll, start moving. Um, as you move, you do get a defense bonus. See, so we're at running speed now, so we should have like a defense of two. You get a plus two to defense when you run. Alright, so I'm gonna move one to get the walking defense bonus, and then launch our medium laser on the move. Phew! Oh, 
Oh, we got critted all sorts of stuff. F you. I'm gonna turn to face it. Oh! It doesn't matter. Alright, we're gonna... AC-20, the Warhammer. And... We blew a hole in its fusion engine. Awesome. And we're gonna turn. Uh, now we're gonna take our hatchet into the Warhammer. Doing, doing 10 damage. Ow! Oh, and there, he blew our hatchet away. F you. I think we might want to... No, we don't want to charge this thing, do we? No. Let's see. Well, our arms are still there. Just, they're just missing their weapons. Okay. I just tiptoe around the Warhammer here. I don't know where it's going, but that's fine. It's, uh, rear armor is exposed to us. We we're gonna take advantage of that and launch our AC-20. Phew. There he goes! We, uh, ripped its hip apart. Warhammer ain't dancing no more. Turn. Oh, that medium laser... We have a rear-mounted medium laser. Okay. That's why I couldn't fire it. Yeah, so the only real weapon I have is the AC-20 now, <laughs> and punches and kicks. Great. Okay, yep, you stay there so I can kick you. We're gonna kick it, and uh, hope to crit his right leg there, which has no external armor. Right leg... Oh, did, did stuff and killed me! Alright, well, what did it do? I think it charged me. Uh, Warhammer. Well, either way, I died. Okay. So, um... Well, that was a... A quick match of, uh... Rogue Mech. Uh, there was one other feature I wanted to show off, but I couldn't because of the weapon layout of my, uh, Centurion here. Where my... What was I riding? I was riding a Centurion, right? Yeah. No. I was riding a Hatchet Man or X-Man. I don't remember what I was piloting. <laughs> but uh, either way, uh, you can also group fire weapons by holding a shift key. And then picking the weapons you want to group fire with the numeric buttons. Um, so you could, like, potentially alpha strike an opponent. And then, uh... Set your heat levels to insane levels. And I didn't really get to go deeper into the heat either but I guess I'll do all that uh, in the next video uh, in the next video I'm hoping to uh, play a game of a uh, of a team deathmatch maybe uh, Lance versus Lance or something all right so uh see you then bye